Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. Uh, not gonna be a package, not gonna be a picking video. It's gonna be a package opening. I got this from Fast Charlie. I did get it yesterday, and I normally like to open them on the day I get them, but I, uh, I didn't get home from the shop till like one o'clock this morning, guys. It's been a really tough week. And I'm gonna do this package opening, and then I'm gonna tell that story that I started to tell on, uh, was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. And I just, I had to concentrate on that monkey lock picks lock. That was a tough lock, guys. Jesus Christ, was it tough. Okay. Well, there's more than just a couple locks that he said he was sending in here. Let me make sure there's no notes or nothing in here. There's a bunch of challenge locks in there. That's just packing. Oh, yeah. Locks and tools. It says, Bill, have fun with the locks and tools. In the, I can't read his writing. Back to Tiffany. Sure. Okay, it's just, it's basically telling me which uh, locks are in this. Okay. Okay, so hold on. Guys, he sent me some pics too. Oh, my word. All right, and they all have a note on each one, so well, maybe I won't get the story told. I don't know how long this is going to take. Spring temper stock from a half-inch coil of 301 stainless. Wow. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to make a new pick out of this because I bent the shit out of this one. Pick a monkey lock picks lock. I mean, it's twisted and everything now. That's awesome. Thanks, Fast Charlie. And I'll open the picks up last, guys. I want to show the challenge locks here. Oh, he sent a lot of them. Thank you, my friend. And he said he had enough challenge locks for right now. This is Disappointed Linus by Fast Charlie. Get this one out real fast. Oh, that's a nice old Yale. Six-pinner. Works absolutely smooth, guys. Uh, this is another Fast Charlie, I think, here. Oh, I didn't shoot a bidding. That's a pretty tough bidding, too, guys. Yeah, okay. Look at that. <laughs> we'll get it open, though. I like Fast Charlie locks. He's got some pretty nice locks out there. Wow, look at the bidding on that one. Hand filed the key. Works perfectly smooth, just like the rest. Okay. Very awesome, Fast Charlie. Well, this is one of those funny cylinders. Who had these? This is called Counter Attack. By Fast Charlie. Uh, if Keith is not going all the way... Sometimes should, a shim is needed. Okay. So this is one of them funny lock. I don't remember what these were for. Some kind of interchangeable or something. Somebody had these. I don't remember who. Oh, look at the bidding on that one, though. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Okay. There you go. How long those keys are, man. Jesus. That's a pretty tough little key right there. And this is the one that I was asking about, why the package was sent, actually. It's a little spiky by our decline, average picker. Fish Charlie couldn't get it, and uh, so I'd give it a try, no doubt. So definitely, I'll get those open. Now let's get to the good stuff here. This handle is zebra wood. Pins are aluminum. Oh, wow. This is one of Fish Charlie's custom-made picks. Oh, my Lord, is that beautiful. Wow. Look at that, guys. Fast Charlie, thank you so much, my friend. Well, I'm going to have to make you a nice package now. Okay. I'm going to put this with this one so I, I can read all the notes on them. Very, very cool. I had a piece of scrap government steel, so I thought I would make a box cutter type. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to use that to open up all my... Man, that is sharp. Holy cow. Fast Charlie, that is really cool. <laughs> that is just awesome, my friend. Here, we'll put this one here. And then this one is... This is made from 21,000's fueler gauge. From McMaster Carr. This thing is based on a Lucy Sparrow's Tron. Oh, I, see, I love these picks like this with just the rubber handles on them. Oh, he marked them, too. This is 28,000's. 
This is 21 thousandths. These are just beautiful fish, Charlie. These two I will definitely use over here all the time. This one I might use it once and then put it in my pick frame. That is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the handle on that, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the finish on them. Very, very cool fish, Charlie. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm going to have to put something awesome together for you, buddy. <clears throat> okay, let's see how deep we are into this. All right, only five minutes. So I started telling a story the other night. Uh, and what happened was my phone started blowing up at like 5 o'clock in the evening, guys. And the first time it was one of the regular maintenance guys at this big building that we do not far from my home. But it's a big account. I mean, they have a lot of properties. And this is a brand new building. Maybe, uh, I think we put on a master system about eight, eight, nine months ago, maybe. All brand new hardware, brand new built building, beautiful more Hager mortise locks. And I'm not a big fan of Hager, but they, they bought the upgrades. They're, they're pretty nice what they put in. So anyway, my phone starts blowing. Now the head maintenance guy is calling me. And he says, Bill, I can't get keys into people's doors they won't work it's something wrong with your master king says absolutely no way it's impossible <clears throat> so i asked him what was going on he said he couldn't get keys to slide into the doors <clears throat> and uh wanted me to come out right away so i said okay i'll be there i was there within a half hour so i get there i figured out right away what was going on and the first thing i asked the the maintenance guy did you fire anybody lately so he says yeah we fired a guy last week but Right then I knew what, what the problem was. He went around in crazy glue. Not just a few. Altogether, 166 mortise locks. Now, remember, guys, it's 6.30 in the evening now. Where do you come up with 166 mortise, inch and eighth mortise cylinders? Because <laughs> uh, you're not going to fix them. They're all crazy glued. you, you got to either drill them or snap them out of the doors. And you know, I don't know if you know what I mean by snapping them. This is just a, one that I'm making for one of the guys, uh, Ultimate Adversary Lock. Snapping them, you have to grab them here or get something that you're going to slip in that core. And they have a little set screw here on the side. And you literally wiggle them back and forth until you break the set screw. Then you just replace the set screw. Hopefully without stripping anything inside the set screw hole. So within an hour, I had nine other locksmiths there on site with me. <clears throat> And we start snapping locks. Well, 100, maybe 110 or so were on people's doors, on their residences. The rest were all on, like, maintenance rooms. So the priority, obviously, is to get these people in their units. So, you know, some guys went up and started drilling. Some guys went up and started snapping. You know, whatever means necessary to get these people in their units. You've got 100 people pissed off standing in the lobby trying to get home from work and get into their units. It's not, not easy. So, I'm saying we started about probably quarter to seven. We finally had all 100 units open by like 12.30 at night. We were at the building literally till 7.30 the next morning. That's how long we were all there. I think there was five of us left at 7.30 in the morning. Anyway, the problem was coming up with... 166 mortise cylinders. I didn't care what keyways, what finishes, don't matter. Because I'm just going to order all brand new Hager mortise cylinders, put them back on their master system, and give them a change key with them. And they're fine with that. They're, you know, whatever, whatever. I, I believe they already arrested the guy who did this. They had him on camera all over the building doing this. But <clears throat> now, I'm, like I said, my problem was coming up with all these mortise locks. So I went to the store. I dug up like 84 of them or something. One of the other guys had. 10 or 12 on his van, another guy had 10 or 12 on his van, so we ended up coming up with 160 out of the 166, because we had to, obviously, we locked these people's units and give them keys, so nothing's on the master system right now in that building, you know, only the, the doors that weren't messed with, but all the new mortar cylinders, they're all off the master right now, let me just see, okay, we're only at nine minutes, uh, so, I mean, that was a big, big dilemma, and the bill is just going to be huge for that. Oh, God. I mean, you figure 10 locksmiths for an emergency call on top of it, so it's all emergency uh, pricing now. And you got 10 of us there for uh, 12, 
12, 14 hours, I think we were there all together getting all these things open. So we ended up leaving six of the maintenance doors off because we couldn't come up with the last six mortar cylinders we needed. And I just went back the next day and put six more in. I went and picked up some. <clears throat> so, I mean, it was a tough evening, guys. But that, that was the story that I wanted to tell the other day. And I couldn't because that lock was just so tough. And I couldn't pick the lock <laughs> while telling that story. But we got it all straightened out now. I already ordered all the uh, New Hager mortise locks that they wanted. Uh, they should be in next week. We'll get them all put together and done. Ooh, I did not notice that till just now. Very sneaky, our decline. So look at what he's done to the bottom of that. That's the bottom of the keyway. Huh. So he's trying to screw with the tension. Okay. I'll figure something out for it. I'll get it open. Uh, and it's... Uh, Basically it. That's the whole story, guys. I just wanted to let you in on it because, like I said, I left you hanging the last week when I uh, picked that lock. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Fast Charlie, I can't say thank you enough, my friend. I did not know there was going to be any picks, especially this beautiful. Man, that's so light. Beautiful, beautiful pick here. Man, that is nice. And these are really nice. I mean, he's got a nice, nice profile on him. Look at that. Very, very nice. He said they're based off the Tron, so that, that's a very nice pick. And I, like I said, I really like these with these shrink-wrapped handles. I use my Daz Evers like crazy all the time, and this is cool. I'm going to open all my packages with that from now on. I'm going to have to make something to go over the top of that because I'll stab myself for sure. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day. It is still daytime. I got two hours between... My next job. So I was able to come home and get this video done for you. So everybody have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. It's the long weekend this weekend. So have a great holiday, everyone. And see you soon. I'll try and get a lock pick this evening for you. Goodbye.